Photographers familiar with high-end gear know that there are tools that you can add to your camera setup to get it to do more things. But most point-and-shoot users don't know there are quite a few great tools for improving the point-and-shoot experience as well. You might just be surprised at some of these clever, affordable add-ons. Hello again, I'm Larry Becker. It's amazing how powerful and full-featured point-and-shoot cameras are these days. They can deliver great images, so there are more and more times enthusiasts and pros will find themselves carrying a point-and-shoot camera. But you might not know that there are some great, simple point-and-shoot accessories that can really enhance your shooting game. For example, everybody likes different types of grips. We hold our camera in different ways. And if you really like the feature set of a particular point-and-shoot camera, but you find the grip a little too smooth for you? Try one of the four add-on camera grips from the folks at Flipback. These have advanced 3M adhesive, and depending on your particular model, they can even look like they came with your camera. Camera grips are an important thing to me, frequently when I'm considering a camera or when I'm reviewing one. I pay attention to the grip, because whether it's me holding it, or if I hand it off to somebody so that they can snap a photo for me, one of these little $8 to $12 add-ons might just save your $400 or $500 camera investment from crashing to the ground. Speaking of not dropping your camera, the folks at Optech have come out with a really handy, lightweight, over-the-shoulder camera strap called a compact sling. It's really cool because it solves some problems people have with certain types of straps. Both wrist straps and neck straps have a few challenges that keep them from being ideal for everyone. And if you're one of those people who never found a strap you really like, have a look at this one. The Optech sling holds your camera out of the way at your side and it goes over your head and one arm so that it won't drop off your shoulder like a neck strap over a single shoulder could. And because of the camera attachment clip and how it slides along the strap, it lets you quickly and easily get into shooting position. The part of the strap that sits on your shoulder is soft and padded, yet grippy. It's a nice, innovative strap solution. We've all seen Lens Pen brand lens cleaners, and I own half a dozen myself. I use them on my DSLR cameras and on my point-and-shoot cameras to clear away any smudges, spots, or finger oils from the lens. The nice thing is that they come in shorter lengths now. So something like this one fits nicely inside a compact camera case. One end has something that looks like a suction cup, but it's actually a graphite tip that lifts finger oils and cleans the face of lenses very nicely. The other end is a handy brush for dusting crevices or getting dry particles off your camera. Just be sure to use the cleaning tip only on glass lenses and never with any liquids. I have a few tripods and a monopod, and I use them all the time with my DSLR cameras, but I almost never use them with my point-and-shoot cameras. They're usually overkill, and when we decide to carry a point-and-shoot, most of us do that so that we can travel light. Still, there are times when it would be nice to have a tripod to hold the camera still for shooting, or maybe even for photographing yourself with some friends. Manfrotto has a handy tabletop tripod called the Pixie. It folds small for travel, and it has a built-in ball head so that you can adjust your shooting angle quickly and easily. And since point-and-shoot cameras are lightweight, you don't need heavy knobs to lock down the ball head. Just a quick press and release of the button lets you re-aim your camera in an instant. The first time I saw the X-Shot 2.0 telescoping camera holder, I was at the Photoshop World Convention, and one of the instructors was carrying one around with him. It was the coolest thing to see him taking self-portraits with dozens and dozens of fellow instructors and attendees, and I'd be willing to bet he has more self-portraits with friends than anybody I know. The X-Shot 2.0 is a telescoping camera holder that helps you get your camera much farther away than just arm's length so that you can use your two or five second timer and take great buddy portraits. And if you know a real estate pro who snaps photos of their own listings, They'll love this thing. You can take pictures from much higher vantage points, both indoors and out. 
and for some reason those higher views make houses look a little better. Look at these two images. It's the same camera with the same settings. The only difference is the height of the shot. And the higher shot emphasizes the garden and it makes it so that the driveway doesn't go across the entire bottom of the frame. At the beginning of this video I told you about grips from the company called Flipback. And that same company also makes a flip mirror attachment for either 2.5 or 3 inch LCDs and it comes in silver or black. The concept is that if you do a lot of shooting from low angles, you can add a mirror and then hold your camera at low angles for shooting while still seeing the LCD well enough to frame up your shot. Honestly, this one is a little flimsy and the travel of the hinge is kind of sticky compared to how flip LCDs work. But it's inexpensive and just the ticket for some shooters who find themselves trying to shoot low with small cameras that don't have an articulated LCD. I appreciate inventions that look at solving things differently. I saw the Gary Fong Flip Cage Pro a year or two ago and I appreciate how it does several things differently. It's a cage to protect your camera while traveling. It's a tabletop tripod that you don't have to remove during travel. It's an LCD shape. And since so many point-and-shoot cameras have great macro capabilities, you can even use it to hold your camera pointed straight down and shoot extreme close-up stuff. One of the things lots of point-and-shoot photographers have in common is being on the go. We're going from one activity to the next, and we want a point-and-shoot camera to help us save our memories even when we're doing stuff that involves water. While there are some great waterproof cases out there for specific cameras, those can be expensive. This waterproof case, called the Decapack WP610, is a great, really affordable underwater case rated to 10 meters or around 32 feet deep. You can use it for shooting in the rain, in dusty or sandy conditions, or maybe even snow skiing. The only downside is that the list of cameras it's compatible with is an old list, and it's probably compatible with even more cameras than the ones listed. I popped the Canon G16 in there, and it worked just great. As you would expect, the thick, clear plastic does add bulk, and it makes using the controls a little clumsy, but for the main stuff like being able to clearly see the LCD and snap a shot, it's really easy and it delivers pictures that are every bit as good as without the case. It's surprisingly affordable for what it does, and ultimately, it's not much more difficult to shoot than if you were wearing winter gloves. I hope you discovered at least one new gadget that you didn't know about before. These are all nice little enhancements that make our photography hobby even more fun. And if there's a point-and-shoot photographer in your life who loves taking pictures and whose shooting style fits one or more of these accessories, I'm sure they'll appreciate the gift. For B&H and Kelby Training, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.